Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Thanks again for stopping by for this episode of Apple Just Wants Me to Buy Another New Phone 2023 Edition. Now, it's rumored, it's been rumored by some random person on Twitter, but it's probably true because why not? It's been <laughs> rumored that with the release of iOS 17, some very significant devices will drop off Apple's supported list. If the past predicts the future, the following devices won't get iOS 17 when it's released later this year. Those devices include the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, the iPhone 10, the iPad 5th generation, the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, that's the first generation, and the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, also first generation. Now, I had many of those devices, and it kind of, you know, a little tear is coming out, but the iPhone 10 particularly hits hard. Its release seemed like kind of a watershed moment for the iPhone. Apple claimed that the iPhone 10 was like no other iPhone and an anniversary edition and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it was a significant phone for a bunch of reasons. It had a brand new design, something that felt wildly different from previous iPhones, but also kind of called back to other devices like the iPod and the original iPhone polished side rails, all shiny and metal. The iPhone 10 was the first iPhone to have an edge-to-edge -edge screen. It was also the first iPhone to have the much beloved notch, which enabled us to have, for the first time, Face ID, which to me is still the most magical smartphone security system that any manufacturer has come up with. Face ID is now present throughout all of iOS unlocking apps, enabling Apple Pay, and all kinds of different other stuff. I can get into my banking app, it just looks at me. Of course, the obsolescence of these devices is kind of another in the long line of standing operating procedure for Apple. Last year, the iPhone 7, and uh, I think the iPhone SE, the first one, the iPhone 6S, some others, they lost their support for new versions of iOS, but Apple has continued to provide security updates to iOS 15. So in looking at it, the iPhone 10 and the rest that are on the list, they were kind of next, next up. So it kind of makes sense that they'll be the ones to go this year. Maybe it feels different or a little bit more bittersweet because the iPhone 10 seems like it didn't really come out all that long ago, but it'll be six years this year uh, since it debuted. And I guess six years is about as much as you could expect. Six years of software updates is still by far the best software support offered by any phone manufacturer anywhere. Six years is, is a long time to be able to say that you've got the most latest and greatest. It's unlikely that iOS 17 will introduce any features that are gonna make the old phones seem like they're, you know, just not up to snuff anymore. So iPhone 10 users can still count on security updates for a while and can still use the phone for the foreseeable future. Would Apple prefer that you buy a shiny new iPhone 14 or 15 or whatever it is that they're trying to sell at the time? Of course, of course they would because they're a business and they sell those things. But just because they want you to doesn't mean you have to. You can... You can keep going. Will you mourn the obsolescence of the iPhone 10 and the other devices that won't be updated this year? Is it possible Apple might keep them for another year of updates since the only source that I could find for this <laughs> rumor was a random person on Twitter that wasn't even named? Until Apple announces the definitive list that will come down sometime soon or at least before I iOS 17 comes out, we'll have to wait and see. The iPhone 10 does occupy a soft spot in my heart, so I'll be a little bummed if it if it's gone, but time marches on. We have to, uh, you know, we just have to let go. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we'll have a boisterous discussion as always. Once again, my name Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, painfully honest tech, tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I am out. Ta! Hit the subscribe button.